What is going on guys, it's Hi with the Upper Left USA and today I'd like to share with you my new favorite camera bag for when I'm using a minimalist setup and that is the Peak Design Sling 5 liter. The exterior of the Peak Design Sling 5 liter is constructed from a weatherproof 400D nylon canvas shell with a water resistant zipper that allows for access to the main compartment. The front of the bag features a small stretch pocket, and on the side of the exterior is a dedicated mounting location for the Peak Design Capture. Upon opening the bag, you are greeted by a soft padded interior and two of Peak Design's flex fold dividers. One of these dividers actually has a folding shelf. This is intended to provide you with more organization space. For example, if you were to hold a lens on the bottom of this divider, you can fold the top shelf down and now you can put something else on top of it. This provides your content with some extra separation and protection. In this main compartment, there are some additional pockets. On either side of the main compartment are two stretchy side pockets that can be used for some extra batteries, cords, or whatever you can fit in there. In the main compartment is also a magnetic sleeve that can also fit a tablet up to 11 inches. On the top flap is another pocket accessible via a zipper. In here, we have four stretchy pockets that are color coded. Again, you can use these pockets for batteries or memory cards. The colors are intended to be used to indicate when something is full or empty. Say you're using these pockets for batteries. You can put the full batteries in the red pockets and when they're dead, move them to the black pockets or vice versa. The color coding just provides an extra reminder. To carry the bag, you either hold it by the top handle or use the strap attached to the bag. The strap allows you to wear the bag as either a sling or a fanny pack. The strap itself features a quick adjustment mechanism like that of the leash camera strap also made by Peak Design. To adjust, you just slip your finger under the loop and pull to either tighten the strap or to make some slack. And that's all there really is to this bag. It's very small, simple, and straightforward. Like I said, it's really intended for a minimalist setup. And when I first saw the advertising and launch of this bag, I really thought, I have to admit that, it was completely useless. Because I had no idea what people would actually carry in this thing. It's just so small. So... I personally really only use this thing for one particular setup, and I'll show you that later in this video, but let's see what a normal person can actually fit in this thing. For our first setup, in the bag, I have the Sony a7R2 with the 16-35mm f4. As you can see, there is still a little bit of extra room. Depending on how I set this up, I can actually get the 28mm f2 and the 55mm f1.8 both from Sony into the bag, so for a total of a body and three lenses. If you're interested in using this bag with a Sony a7 body and the Sony 2040 f2.8 G Master, I would have to say that it does fit in this bag, but it pretty much takes up the entire main compartment. For the DSR shooter, here's a Nikon D810 with a Tamron 24 to 70 f2.8. As you can see, this setup pretty much takes up the entire main compartment. Earlier in this video, I said that I really only use this bag for one purpose, and this is it. I mainly use this bag to carry my 35mm film setup, and this usually involves the Leica M6 and a couple cases of film. This is currently my go-to minimalist street photography setup, and I'm glad that it fits perfectly in this bag. And there you have it guys, the Peak Design Sling 5 liter. A rather small bag, but a lot more functional than it seemed. And like I said, this has become my, really my go-to minimalist bag. I've said that over and over again in this video, but it does such a good job at being a minimalist bag. When you're planning to just Bring maybe a body and a lens and a few other things this bag definitely does the job and I'm really glad that I didn't go with a 10 liter version because from the looks of it the 10 liter is a big jump up in size of course it doubles the capacity but for my applications this does perfectly and I'm very happy to have this bag in my arsenal if you're interested in picking this bag up for yourself, I'll include links in the description below. Definitely check out the link to the official Peak Design store, which if you use the link that I provide, you actually get 10% off, so makes this bag even a better deal. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, comment with any questions that you may have. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.